Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot and welcome to MakerQuest. In this episode, we're going to learn about multimeters, which are one of my favorite tools and I use them pretty much every day. So they're super handy, both for circuits and for just random stuff around the house. And to avoid information overload, I'm going to break this video into two sections. So in the first section, I'm going to talk about what multimeters are, give you a quick safety caveat, and show you some super awesome practical applications around the house. And in the second part, I'm going to go into more of the nitty gritty details on how multimeters work and how you actually use them. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, what the heck is a multimeter? Well, it's one of these things, which uh, basically has a bunch of different types of meters on the inside to measure uh, different things. So the four functions that I'll focus on are voltage, current, resistance, and continuity or electrical connection. I'll cover that in more detail, how you actually use these different features. Um, but first, I'll give you a quick safety caveat. Anytime you're working with high voltage or high current, the number one rule to always follow anytime you're working with um, exposed wires or things like that is the one hand rule. So that all that involves is just putting one hand behind your back and only one hand is allowed to touch different exposed leads. Let's see the multimeter in action. So uh, one of my favorite ways to use a multimeter is for debugging. Um, and so here's kind of a funny example of something that uh, my partner and I worked on. So we found this at a thrift store and um, it was broken. So I went through with the multimeter and figured out what electrical connections were broken, figured out that the motors were getting shorted, and then added a switch to make it work. <laughs> so pretty much all of that work <laughs> um, up until adding the Frankenstein switch on the outside was done with a multimeter. So they're super useful. You can also use them to check the voltage on batteries around the house. So if you have uh, guitar pedals or things like that, this is really useful for checking uh, to see if your batteries are dead. You can also use a multimeter to check your car battery, which I'll show you in the second part. So you just switch it to the voltage setting and go ahead and check the uh, voltage across the battery. This one says it's 7.8 volts, so that's super low. Definitely need to recharge this, or if it was not rechargeable, I would have to get another one. And then uh, I really love the resistance setting as well, because as you can probably see, this is my super messy, completely unorganized container of resistors, but it's fine because if I find a resistor, I can pull it out and check the resistance value with my multimeter, since I don't have the electrical bands memorized or resistance bands memorized. Um, so this says it's 9.6 kilo ohms, so about 10 kilo ohms. So this is a really quick way to check the values of resistors if you don't have the resistance bands memorized. Um, and then lastly, the continuity setting is awesome because it can help you debug really easily. So you can either check things for shorts. Um, for example, here's a sensor that some of the pads uh, kind of just uh, came off of. So I can use this to check that uh, there is a short between the two pads. Oops, switch it to the right setting. Yeah, all right, so that's bad. That means I can't use this anymore, so I'll have to swap it out for a new one. But at least now I know. You can also use it to check your soldering joints on uh, PCB boards. And lastly, it's also really handy to check uh, if different materials conduct or not. So if I check the <laughs> wood table, nothing happens, as you'd expect. It'd be kind of weird, I guess, if something did happen. Wood doesn't conduct, doesn't beep. But I check the paper clip, and it beeps. Awesome. So this is really useful because sometimes paper clips are coated with plastic or something like that. Or if you're running a workshop uh, that involves electricity and you want to use common materials around the house, or you just want to get creative and upcycle different objects, you can check if they conduct electricity using the continuity setting. Super handy. All right, so that's pretty much it. I will leave you with a question, and that question is, what type of electricity is more dangerous? AC or DC? Not the band, the electricity. All right, so uh, leave your answer in the comments below. Guesses are totally encouraged. And uh, I will answer that in the next section of the multimeter video. So uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe. Oh, 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 you gotta go inside though. Yeah, go inside. Is it in here? <laughs>
What a ham. ham. Yes. What a ham. Oh, you know you're cute. Yes, that you are. Is a ham. He, yeah, he taught himself that one.